2.4, uh, the birth of astrophysics. <clears throat> and here we have Galileo. We watched the movie. Galileo lived between 1564 and 1642. He was a contemporary of Kepler. But most of all, he was the first person to use the telescope to study the heavens and offer interpretations. And one of the first things he did was he looked at the moon. And he noticed that the moon's surface has features similar to the Earth, similar to the Earth, but um, <clears throat> uh, at the time, most people thought the Earth or the moon was just a, a sphere, nice and smooth and all that. But he noticed that it was similar to the Earth, and the moon is nothing more than a ball of rock. Um, he also studied sunspots. The sunspots, um, the sun is not perfect. It changes appearance. And it rotates. Um, he also, with that telescope, noticed Jupiter had four objects orbiting it. The objects are moons, and they are not circling the Earth. They are circling Jupiter. And he also noticed that the Milky Way is populated by an uncountable number of stars, and the Earth-centered universe is too simple. So he um, could prove that Copernicus was right using that telescope. <clears throat> and how did he prove that the sun was the center and not the earth? He proved this by watching Venus go through the phases. Venus undergoes full phase cycle. So Venus, that meant Venus had to circle the sun and not the earth. I'm credited with originating the experimental method for studying scientific problems. He's the one that discovered the scientific method. How did he discover it? He didn't really discover it, but he was the first one to label it out and put it out there so it could be um, studied step by step. He deduced the first correct laws of motion, and um, he was brought before the Inquisition and put under house arrest for the remainder of his life. Now, one of the problems here, even though he deduced the first correct laws of motion. He did not have a watch. Um, Newton, on the other hand, had a, a um, pocket watch. So he came up with the equations because he used time. But he used a lot of um, Galileo's work to do that. Isaac Newton, 1642 to 1727, was born the year Galileo died. And he made major advances in mathematics, physics, and astronomy. He created um, calculus and used that to further our thought on um, mathematics, physics, astronomy, and just science in general. He pioneered the modern study of motions, optics, and gravity, and discovered the mathematical methods of calculus. It was not until the 20th century that Newton's laws of motion and gravity were modified by the theories of relativity. Um, what that means is it, it wasn't his laws. They didn't change, but his laws um, were explained through the theories of relativity. Um, even though Newton could calculate all this, he couldn't explain what gravity was, and the theories of relativity helped to explain that. Um, the growth of astrophysics, new discoveries in 1781, William Herschel discovered Uranus. He also discovered that stars can have companions. Irregularities in Uranus's orbit together with the law of gravity led to the discovery of Neptune. And then the new technologies, improved optics, led to bigger telescopes and the discovery of nebulas and galaxies. And photography, especially photography, because now we can take a picture of what we're looking at through a telescope. Um, <clears throat> photography allowed the detection of very faint objects. That's it for these notes and lecture. Um, good luck on the homework.